Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button. And let's get into this week's video. This week is kind of an impromptu video. I've been hearing a lot about this online store called Wish and I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos all over reviewing Wish and I got on Wish just not intending to do a video just on my own and I had been having a glass of wine and after I got one big package I kind of went through my credit card history and then I saw that I made a bunch of purchases and um, I haven't opened the packages yet but I've seen my purchase history and I know that I just got I just got a lot of random stuff so it's um, it's gonna be quite the video Okay, so one of the first things I got that I just opened, totally forgot that I ordered this, is this lipstick. Now that I'm seeing the lipstick, I'm recalling it in my head that I saw those clear lipsticks with the flowers in them. And it actually has a flower in it. My stick kind of on right now, but I don't know, I think it's acting. It's acting kind of like a gloss. I don't remember off the top of my head how much this was, but I have it all in my email. So I'll put the price of this here. So moving on to the next one. This is not gonna be good. I know what this one is supposed to be. There's no way. Stop. Okay, so I went online again, obviously. And like I said, I thought Wish was kind of just a place where you get clothing. <laughs> and then I saw an Apple Watch. <laughs> and I, this kind of looks like, I mean, I don't know what a real Apple Watch looks like though. This doesn't look like a real Apple Watch. I've seen my friend's rose gold Apple Watch. But this is a pretty interesting dupe of an actual Apple Watch. Wait, if this works, it comes in this box and it comes with a whole USB cord. I really don't know if this works. It has a camera on it. Like, this is like legit, sort of, but like a cheap legit. Like, it's obviously like a fake. You can tell by the band. I'm shaken to my actual core. Like, so far, not turning on. So, maybe. So, this is what you plug the charger into. As we all know, real Apple Watches just lay on something. They don't need a USB. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna revisit this later on in the video and see if it actually turns on because that would be pretty funny if it did. I, I We'll see, I'm just gonna go plug this in one second. So the fake Apple Watch has been plugged in and it did light up, it did have a battery symbol, it was not Apple, it was just like a very fake battery symbol that came up that showed that it was charging. So hopefully by the end of this video I have a real update for you and I see if it turns on and maybe if it even connects to my phone. <laughs> but we will see, we'll see for sure, so. All right. Um. I don't know exactly what this is. I have an idea. I think I ordered like a few. Oh, wait. I ordered um, a few pieces of clothing. I did order a couple of workout sets. And I mean, I feel like just based on what I'm holding right now, if I'm ever going to order anything from this website ever again, it'll probably be their workout sets. Maybe not, actually. I could be lying. I'm gonna have to try this on. So, their sets were shown on their sites in like a bra, like a sports bra, and like leggings set. It's like weirdly dirty. Like, there is dirt on the white part of this, which is like a little bit awkward, but okay. Um, the back is completely cut out, which is not what I saw on the website either. It was more like a racer back. 
so that's weird. Um, and the material is pretty thin and there's like, it seems, it's a small, but it seems pretty big where like to the point where I think like if I put it on as a sports bra, it wouldn't be sports bra-esque. But um, I'll try it on for you guys, but I don't know how this is gonna work really. It's with a matching bottom. The material is like, so bad for leggings. Like it's the kind of material that if you stretch it too much, you're definitely gonna be able to see underneath, like see through. Um, I guess it's cute for the price, but we'll see how it is and I'll try it on and um, we'll review it. It is wrong in all the right places. Like, what is this waistband action happening? Like, what is this? The, and then the top, like I said it was too big, but like, this was supposed to be a sports bra. I don't even, <laughs> and like the pants just felt like too tight, like I was gonna break them. But it's just, it's a mess. It's a whole big mess, honey. It's a whole big mess, sweetie. Don't get it, do not. I don't remember ordering this. I. I have no re I have no recollection of ordering this. But what I'm looking at right now is not something that I remember ordering. This is another workout set. It seems to be of a better material than the last one. It is black and white. The pattern is the only thing I can think of to say to describe this pattern is Flintstones. Like the cartoon, the Flintstones. Um, I can't really explain to you what this pattern is. But it has a mesh top, which goes around to the back and the straps are crisscross. It's actually, I mean, <laughs> I, I wanna say it's better quality than I thought, but I don't remember looking at it online or ordering it but it's better quality than the last set that I just opened. The pants, the pants are the same weird Flintstones pattern. And then down, halfway down the leg, it has the same mesh pattern as the sports bra. Um, this set is overall a lot better quality than the gray set. It is better quality than the gray one, but um, it kind of like, I heard threads ripping when I was putting this one on and I'm not asking it to do a lot. I'm literally just asking it to get on me. Um, it's kind of see-through, you can kind of see a lot there. Wouldn't wear it out, wouldn't, maybe like just take pictures in it, but it's a little bit weird. The bra is pretty good though. So the bra, maybe I'd pair the bra with the black pants, but the straps are a little weird. like. This one was like weirdly loose, so, and there's not a lot of support, it just fits. So, that's where I am with this one. I think one of these, one of these I'm really super excited. One of them I clearly remember ordering. Um, once again, this is not something I remember ordering. Wow, I really went ham on the workout clothing. I don't think I ordered this many. This is tiny. All right. So the next thing I ordered, I guess, is another workout set. And it is all black, which is fine. The sports bra seems appropriately sized. There's like a keyhole cut out in the middle of the bra area there. But it's all black. There's really nothing to it. That might actually be cute. Um, that might actually really be cute, so I'm actually excited to try that on. And then the matching leggings are super simple, super plain, they're all black. They don't look like they're gonna go all the way down and they just have that simple stitching right there. Um, not much to say about it, same material as the second workout set. Yeah, I guess I ordered quite a few workout sets. I'm pretty sure I ordered a pink one, so, I mean, I think there's like one more clothing package. So it's either the pink set or the other thing that I remember ordering. 
but then that would mean one of my orders is wrong. Okay, so here is this workout piece. It actually looks really good. Um, like I said, the material is a lot better than the first one. The support, the sports bra is actually like supporting me. <laughs> it fits really well. It's not like loose in any weird places. So I would give this one a high rating. So Wish did good with this one for sure. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm very confused actually. Oh boy. Oh my god, wait, I'm really gonna start crying. This is like... <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh my god! How dare they? Which? I'm disappointed. I'm really disappointed and I'm angry. I'm truly, you know what? <laughs> I'm devastated. Where am I gonna wear this to? Someone tell me, where am I wearing this to? Wish. <sighs> I honestly don't have any words. I really don't have any words to describe what's happening right here in this dress. So, when I was on the website, this is the one thing I clearly remember because it was the first thing I put in my cart so I wasn't blackout at that point. But, I mean, there were dresses on the site. I have a picture, I have a screenshot now. And they're long sleeve lace, long sleeve, and their lace all at the bodice, and then from the waist down, it's pleated, and it's beautiful, and it's stunning, and it's a gown. And somehow, I got a makeshift quinceanera dress. Like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. What is this false advertising? Where are they even getting the pictures from then? I am upset. I am upset and I am confused. Like, should I even try this on? Like, what? It doesn't even have a tap. You know what? It, it doesn't even have a tag. What kind of dress has no sort of like identification label? Who made this? This is rude. This dress? This dress is rude. It's, to be fair, it's better than what I thought it was gonna be when I got it out of the package, but based on what I saw on online, it is nowhere close. This like, The next package I got is this one. I can't tell you what's in it. I really don't know. As you can see right now, the theme of this video is I don't know what I ordered. You know what? You know what? I remember this now. This was free. So here's something that I learned about Wish while I was on the website that I didn't know about Wish from watching all those YouTube videos. You can get absolutely 100% free things from Wish. Like free, like $0.00 free. This is like, this is, 
This is surprisingly good. I got this ring. This ring was free from Wish and it looks pretty good. Wow, if I posted this on Instagram right now, people would think I'm truly 100% engaged. Stop, this ring looks so real. Wait, no. I'm gonna send this to my best friend and see if she freaks out. Wait, this is, this is pretty f***ed up. Why do my hands look like this? Ugh. I'm gonna see if she freaks out, and then if she freaks out, then Wish wins. I just texted three of my girlfriends. I just texted them pictures of my hand with the ring, like an engagement announcement. And so if they freak out, then this ring looks pretty real. But I can tell you right now, just from standing, like sitting here looking at it, this ring looks suspiciously real. I will never trust I will never trust another engagement announcement again. Like I've seen some rings where I'm just like, how do these people afford this? Like, I know where they work. This is sketchy. This, this ring is too much. <laughs> My friends are freaking out. It's fake, wait, okay, so Wish is made up for the dress fiasco because this ring looks hella real. Okay, I have to move on, but I want you to know that I will never get over this. This ring is the realest thing from Wish ever. Like if you're gonna shop at Wish, and you're trying to fool people, and you're on like a wedding budget, Get this ring. It was zero dollars. Literally zero dollars. I can't even. We're moving on to the next thing. All right, the next item that I got from Wish was the first item that got delivered to my house that alerted me to the fact that I had been drunk shopping. If you follow me on Instagram or my vlogs or whatever, then you probably already have seen a guitar, somewhere around my house and maybe you thought, oh my God, she's so cool, she's artsy as fuck, she's a musician, like she plays the guitar. Let it be known that I do not play the guitar, okay? Um, drunk shopping is a phenomenon in my life that started a couple of years ago when I started to really get into wine. And <laughs> a few years ago, I accidentally or drunkenly went on Amazon and ordered a guitar, and I kind of figured out that it was after listening to a lot of acoustic music and drinking wine. A week ago, <laughs> I got a package, and I was like, oh my God, is this another guitar? Because that's how bad I am with instruments. Like I play a, a few other instruments, but string instruments, I don't, I don't play them, I just don't. So, I got this in the mail. And I thought, there's no way that this is mine. I actually think it was sitting in my apartment for a while, like a day or two, because I thought maybe it was my roommate's. And then I realized it was mine. I got a violin from Wish. So apparently you can get violins from this website. Let me break down to you again that I thought Wish was strictly a clothing website, but it's not. So if you're wondering whether or not this is legit, Here we are, full ass violin. There's a bow. Maybe it's not like a guitar. This bow is broken. There's no way. This bow is like, what the heck? Uh, you guys, wow. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Why? I'll play that sad song that they play in Spongebob. Wait!
No. A sound has to come from this. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. I refuse to believe that I bought this violin and it doesn't make not a single sound. How many strings are supposed to be on a violin? There are only four on this one. I'm so upset. No sounds. Maybe I have to like tighten it. Oh, there, okay. I think we figured out the problem. We didn't figure out the problem. We didn't at all. So this is a flop. That's not the apple sound. Wow! This works. <laughs> the Apple Watch works. The violin doesn't work, but the Apple Watch works. And I have a real engagement ring. <laughs> Wait, how do I set this up? This is exciting. Where does a SIM card go? What is a SIM card also? Write a message. Inbox. You guys, this is like legit. Also, look at my ring. I'm engaged. But look at this. Um, it's touch screen. I can send a message. Let's um, power off, no. So you squeeze this little button on the side to turn it off. Let's see. I don't know how to set the time. It says I've missed one call already. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. All in all, my first impression of Wish is that I probably would never shop there again, aside from the ring and then the one black sports suit that I got. That's like the only things that um, I think were worth it and the ring was free. So pretty hit or miss. So shop there like at your own risk. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button and hit the notification bell because YouTube is not notifying people when these videos go up. See you guys in the next one. Bye.